Blender is a phenomenal piece of software that includes comprehensive modeling, animation, materials, sculpting, dynamics, and professional quality fluid, smoke, and fire simulations. Hell, it even has a built-in video editing game engine. With all these features, surely Blender is the most respected and sought-after software package on the planet used by every major production studio for film, TV, and game production, right? Right? Well, not quite. In fact, Blender is still a rare sight in the professional realm. Sure, there's Barnstorm VFX, which even got an Emmy for The Man in the High Castle, and several small ad houses in Europe and South America and Australia, but the mainstream film and game production houses stay happily tethered to the Autodesk Mafia. Why is that? How can it be that a free piece of software that offers nearly every conceivable feature is relatively stable and easily moddable is not the main software for every FX house out there? Could it be that because Blender is free and open source, it's not being taken seriously? There's the story of a lecturer at a business school who stood up before the class and held up a $20 bill. He said that he would sell the $20 bill to anyone for $1. Everyone hesitated for a long time, thinking this must be a trick. Finally, one student got up the courage and bought the $20 bill for a dollar. The lesson was clear. Sometimes if you offer something that seems too good to be true, Everyone will pass up your offer, even if it is legit. Is that what's going on with Blender? Is it simply too good to be believed? I do believe this has something to do with it, but it's by no means the only reason by a long shot. Before I delve deeply into the reasons, I want to put things into perspective by showing just how much of a bargain Blender really is. The cost of a year-long license of Maya, or 3DS Max, is currently $1,470. Cinema 4D is $2,090, and Lightwave costs $995 flat out. Of course, as I've shown in previous videos, Lightwave is kind of out of the picture, so let's focus on the Autodesk products in Cinema 4D. While Maya has sculpting fluid and smoke simulations, it's by no means the program's strong point. So, that's potentially another $885 for FumeFX plugin, and another $885 for ZBrush. So, at the end of the day, you're looking at several thousands of dollars per artist. So from a financial standpoint, in a very competitive business, it makes absolutely no sense to use anything other than Blender. Clearly other factors are at work here. Here's what I think the main ones are. Number one, studios use what their artists already know. As every behind the scenes FX video will tell you, animation studios are always under tight deadlines for AAA film and game production. Studios don't have the time to have all their artists learn new software and work out the kinks in their workflow. Blender, like all software, has bugs and oddities. But if you have been working with Maya for years, you already have workaround for these bugs. It's simply too troublesome and time consuming to insert Blender into their workflows. Which leads to number two, Autodesk has made sure their products work together in a pipeline. No piece of software can do everything. Studios depend on an efficient pipeline between various departments and stages of production to get things done. The texture artist has to work with the modeler, who has to work with the rigger, then the animator, lighting, and so on. As far as I've seen, Blender stands on its own. It's awesome for an individual artist or small team, but once you start getting into dozens of artists spread out, there's no tools currently to get Blender to quote-unquote play well with others. Imagine you're the head of a AAA game studio, uh, working under crushing de deadlines. If you use Autodesk products and something goes wrong, you can always tell the CEO that you're going to uh, get the guys from Autodesk on the phone and chew them out. If you decide to go with Blender, you're on the hook for any issues that occur. The CEO is going to ask, why did you go with this shareware junk instead of using a professional quote-unquote piece of software? Number three, Blender's reputation for being hard to learn with a weird UI scares off studio managers. Fair or not, Blender is perceived as being the bizarre unicorn of 3D software. I think this has led to a subconscious bias against Blender. Number four, as mentioned in a previous video, Blender can be harder to learn than it needs to be. There are excellent learning resources out there, but nothing built into Blender to get new users up and running fast. Number five, and finally, I think the title of the video is true. Blender is free and open source, so many people can't wrap around their heads around the idea that it could possibly compete with software costing thousands of dollars. It just goes against common sense. Also, I think there is some herd mentality going on around there. Uh, let's use Maya because everyone else is. They must be doing something right, right? And we've already spent $4,000 per suit on it. I'd be really embarrassed if Blender was just as good yet totally free. Best not look into it. So there is definitely a bias 
uh, against Blender due to its status as free open source software. In the next video in the series, I'm going to go over how to overcome these issues and hopefully we can get more studios to use Blender so more Blender artists can get employed.